a few weeks ago, Ropsy showed you guys how she transformed these old French notes to new digital ones. She mentioned that she would probably type out these scans. She's not done that for weeks, so I thought to do it. In this video, I will show you how I made these from these scans. Hey guys, it's Uncle Dan back with Paperless X where we discover ways to get the most out of your technology. I exported these handouts as images. Notability zipped the five images which forced me to save them to files for unzipping. I then saved them to photos it's easier and faster to add photos from the photos library. To avoid typing all these notes, I looked for a solution that could save me some time. The app I tried first was Scholar Note. It's free and therefore accessible for anyone to try out. Unfortunately, on this page, the app could not recognize any text. I later tried other pages in the app. It recognized the topic on one page and a few sentences on other pages. So Colanot didn't work for what I needed. I then tried Scanner Pro. It managed to extract text from the whole page, which was a huge upgrade coming from Colanot. But it had a lot of errors which pushed me to try another app. I tried my luck with live text. It picked up most of the text on the page, but couldn't pick numbers 9 and 10. The extraction from live text had a few errors that I could pick right away. In a desperate attempt to get a more accurate extraction, I turned to Google Keep. Google Keep has accurate text grabbing technology. Usually the problem is organizing the extraction. However, in this case, it gave me the best results. Scanner Pro and Google Keep gave me the best extractions, but Google Keep was more accurate. I chose to use Craft for editing these notes. Craft is a styled text not taking up. To work faster, I switched to my MacBook. Before checking the spellings, I tried to rearrange the notes to resemble what they looked like on the handout. Craft doesn't underline your text. I resorted to making the text bold, but it's not the same. I had to type three of these pages. Their structure made it difficult to just extract the text and use it. Crafted a few limitations that meant the notes I created didn't look exactly like the ones in the scans. Where I needed to create columns, I ended up using tables and tried to make them a bit colorful. I couldn't change the colors of single words in a sentence. The app changed all the words in a block. Overall, compared to other word processing apps, Craft is much simpler to use. Craft doesn't show you where your pages begin or where they end, which can cause problems when you are trying to export your notes. When using the regular font size, some of these notes became two pages. I had to export each of these five pages one by one to make sure they fit on one page. Then I add dropped them to Ropsy's iPad. There are some notes I couldn't add in Craft because the app didn't have the feature I needed or I ran out of space on the page. I didn't delete the scans in case she doesn't like the notes I created. I know how Ropsy is obsessed with her notes. In the worst case, she will just delete my version. For this page, Google Keep extracted even the handwritten notes on the page. The handwriting extraction was very accurate, which was impressive. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.